Y'all, this U.S. politics is getting so messy, you'll think Lenny produced it. Now, the news make it sound boring, but it's not. Let me break down what's going on. So, you know, when Trump was president, he had a bromance with Russia President Putin. Now, y'all remember when he was running, he said this, right? If I were president, and I say this, I will end that war in one day. It'll take 24 hours. I, uh, if I'm president, I will have that war settled in one day, 24 hours. I will have that war finished and done and settled before I get to the White House as president-elect. I will get that done. Now, y'all heard what he said, right? Somebody told a lie one day. Initially, he was saying, first day as president, within 24 hours, he will end the war. Now, during his campaign, he started saying, as president-elect. So, he will become president on January 20th. So, if we go by his first statement, that would mean the war should be ended by the 21st. If we go by his last statement, that means the war should be ended by January 20th. Yeah, before January 20th, actually. So I don't know which one we're supposed to go back. Y'all tell me. So, so we'll see when those days happen. Is this is actually, is what he said true? Or what he, what he meant to say was just he had concepts of ideas of how to end a war in 24 hours. Stay tuned. Also, since Trump won president-elect, the news article headlines have read that Putin hadn't called him to tell him congratulations, right? So then the Washington Post released the article saying that Trump had a phone call with Putin and pretty much said, either dead that war or I will. And you know American Army ain't to be played with. They ain't the exact words, but y'all can read it. That's the gist of it. Say I'm lying. That's pretty much what he said. So then the world is waiting on Putin to respond. Russia news is supposed to have released this like congratulations to Trump. But doing that, they also show pictures of Melania, his wife, old pictures of when she used to model, new pictures of her, and the newscasters are over there laughing. Now, according to popular opinion, Russia ain't no freedom of the press type country. Yes, I said ain't. Now, they only allow to air what the government say they can air. So some people believe this is Putin poking fun of Trump for Trump lying and saying that, you know, he didn't call Putin. It was like, you need to dead that shit. So Trump Jr. taunts the Ukraine president saying he about to lose his allowance. Since his daddy is taking office, the U.S. will cut off aid to Ukraine. So Putin eventually responds. Well, sort of. Because Kanye West him and was like, you should be honored by my lateness that I would even show up to this fake shit. What happened was Putin's spokesperson said, Lies you tell Trump you could never, ever, never, ever, what? Get on my level. Get on my level. So, okay, y'all. Y'all can read it. What he really said was like, Trump is telling lies. He lived in a fairy tale, and that phone call never happened. So the world is on the edge of his seat, hoping that the breakup of this bromance don't put us all in World War III. Because y'all know the rich and powerful start the wars while our kids die in them. Y'all, that's it for now. Stay tuned for part two, which is me talking about what I just found out about Elon Musk being on a call with Trump and the Ukraine president. All right. Bye.